Hey everybody, PGL here, and we got a special. And on today's special, we got a Mark II. And it's a Mark II 16 valve. And the we have a guest star for this Mark II, and that's Corbin right over here. Hey, Corbin you. Dallas. That's me. You know, multi-pass. And we're gonna be doing something that's kind of out of my jurisdiction. Cause I don't know anything about 16 valves and transmissions from these cars. So I bought the expert and he's gonna help us do a throttle bearing. So let's get to work cause it's Pinchiao's garage. So what we're gonna need to do is make sure you jack up your car. As always, use the pitch pitch welds here. There is a jack pad right here, and we use a pitch weld to actually hold it in place on both sides. On your 16 valve transmission here, I don't know the model of the tranny, but I call it 16 valve because that's what we're. What is it? O2O. Okay, so on the O2O transmission, this is your fill uh, filler filler spot, and this is your drain right over here. Um, so you're gonna have to open up both of them get a drain pan and get that sucker pretty much to empty out all the way uh, Since we don't know the last time this training was serviced. We have to do this uh, to be safe uh, New parts you will need you will need a new uh, cover number one uh, a new uh, throwout bearing and You will need as well gear oil and usually 7590 or 7595 uh, uh, weight gear oil full synthetic if you can uh, is perfect for these transmissions so now um, what you're gonna need is a 70 millimeter uh, allen socket you're gonna remove the fill drain or the fill um, bolt and the drain one get your pan underneath just like that and let it drip for a couple minutes once it stops dripping clean your area up move the pan out of the way put the uh, fill I meant to fill, put the drain uh, bolt back in, and then we're gonna need to remove this guy right here. Now, what's really cool, they have a, it has a lip, so we're gonna get a flathead screwdriver and kind of like hammer it off uh, around <coughs> until it pops right off, and then uh, we'll show you what to do next from there. So with the flathead screwdriver, try to pop this guy off as you can see we're already doing some fun damage to the cap not to the transmission so just remember that guys once you pop this off we'll show you what to do next all right to remove the throttle bearing gotta lift this arm up to lift that arm up you have to take the clutch lever remove this clip and then move the lever towards the front bumper and it will release and then you need to watch out, buddy. Let me get by ya. And then, you take a magnet. And voila, there's your bra bearing. It doesn't actually look that bad. No, it don't. Compared to the other Actually, one. Yeah, it's not bad, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel too bad. All right, so now just reverse the process on this portion. We'll show you how to put the cap on because the cap is very important. Uh, putting everything back in on this port side is really, really straightforward. And we'll show you what to do next when you get to that spot. All right, we're back here and we're with Corbin. What's Corbin gonna do? We're gonna put the cap on here, but it has to be put on very evenly like any other seal that you don't want to warp it. So I'm gonna take the old cap and a 30 millimeter socket. And then you're gonna walk it around. Yep. Come on. There you go. And you gotta make sure it bottoms out. And You'll try not it. to go sideways. Kind of like I said, walk the hammer around it. Until you hear it, there you go. There's your sound. That's the sound of metal on metal.
There you go. And then we're gonna fill it. Uh, there's a specific way you gotta fill this sucker. Uh, pretty much, you're gonna need a hose and push the hose as far in as you can. Uh, and then pretty much grab the gear oil and cram it in the hose and squeeze. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep putting gear oil into it until it pours out. Once it starts pouring out of the transmission, you're done. For the particular O2O transmission, it's gonna be two quarts. So, you'll see here how Corbin has it. He has a piece of rubber hose. And then there's the, uh, into the tranny. Um, and that's how you fill it. You keep pouring pretty much gear oil until it decides to pour out. But don't pour it too fast. Just take your time. Not a race. And that's it. One down. One down, one more to go. So, uh, again, you want to fill that in. Once you fill it in and it starts pouring out, put a big squirt of uh, gear oil in there. That's okay if it keeps pouring out and you just put your drain plug in and you're done. Um, the throw out bearing was the same way as removing it, the same way you install it, nothing special. Um, there's no torque spec, I mean there is a torque spec for the bolt, but since it's a, it's, I think it's done as a MPT, so uh, it's literally just good and tight because... 18 foot pounds for the drain plug. There you go, 18 foot pounds, I'm, I'm more of a good and tight guy. <laughs> but, you know, if you guys want to, go for it. But that's it, man, and um, Corbin here, just put your wheels back on and... Go drive it. And go drive it and see how she feels. Sweet. Thanks for watching this episode of Pinche Al's Garage. I'm Pinche Al. This is my guest star, Corbin. And as always, we're going to break, fix, and repeat.